as part four of our series comes along, we have finished. We have now finished all of the different floors of the building. There should be ten of them if you if you um, decided to, you know, keep on building the same design. There should be ten. Due to the fifty block tall, um, in that one, two, so like from here up to here, that's one, two, three, four, five blocks. And since it is fifty blocks tall, ten divided by five is ten, so it should be ten floors. You got it correct. And there should be so three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I, I mean, sorry, just ten. Um, and now, because that we're basically done, if you want to, I'm just gonna show a couple of little externals that you could add. You could add in a roof deck if you want. Roof deck would be recommended. Uh, wait for a second. Um, and so yeah, you could add in a roof deck. Whether or not you want to, I think that might be a good idea. <laughs> you don't like fall off, or at least you have something sort of guarding you. I mean, it would just cause pain. So, it wouldn't really stop you. Could, you could just jump over it, but I don't like to be realistic in that way in the builds. So, basically, um, so. You should um sort of have a plus symbol ish. If you want to, you could try and make it a bit less blocky by making a couple more curved ish shapes. But basically, there you go. You kind of have your roof deck. You could make a bit of lighting if you want. And if you're following along, this should be the building that you have right here. So I'm gonna stay right here, try and catch a thumbnail. Yeah, and uh, I'm gonna try and catch another thumbnail. If you don't know what a thumbnail is, it's like what the main video looks like. Um, trying to catch it. Kind of randomizes, so I'm just seeing one. I'm not sure it might be. So basically, now you should have your 10 story tall building. I think the building looks quite cool. A slightly curved plus. And yeah, let's just check our statistics to see how many blocks you should have used. Do not try to do this in survival. Oh, by the way, you can see you could build this in under two hours. Look, I was not using any commands or anything. And I built it in about, uh, an hour and 24 minutes. So, I'm hoping that you could as well. More like in an hour and a half. And, yeah. I'll check the blocks. So, you will probably use about 3,666 quartz blocks. That's kind of funny. And, um, about 1,105 glass. Uh, never mind that. So, all in all, you'll probably use about 4,700, 4,700 and six, 4,771 blocks, about, 4,771. Um, however, I got actually over 5,000 because I made furniture inside on every floor, plus I made these turn into little courtyards. Make you could fence this off. They have your own little courtyard. Like one could be a garden, one could be a pool, so on and so forth. Um, whatever you really want it to be. So on the, in this video, basically, what I'm supposed to be showing you is a bunch of cool little decoration put inside. And I'm gonna keep on scrolling down the list, my mental list. As you can see, I'm not sure whether or not you've memorized the build. Probably easier for me to memorize it because that I created, because that I designed it. Probably easier for me to memorize it, but um, I don't know. You guys could try as well, like try and memorize like the build sort of ish. If you sort of memorize the shape of the build, it will help. 
So I'm just gonna quickly build a bunch of these little things. And there you go. You could sort of, you could have yourself those. I'll give you another example of something you could do. Um, you could have little seats on the side because if these kind of look like seats, you could have like couches. You could have, a, you could have um, a TV, which is basically a bunch of black wool with a painting on it. Um, and basically, this creation, I think, kind of marks the beginning of what I might call a creation series, where I make a creation, and then in a video, I showcase, um, like, how to build it and all. Uh, I'm trying to do shift space A to try and do sort of like that. Yeah, I think that looks kind of good. Um, so basically, I just build pretty much. Probably gonna do a lot of these build-like things in the series. Make like a couple of signs, marking it, make piston doors. However, here's a real problem. When I made a piston door, since the TNT were in these tubes, no, that spawned. I thought I did do mob spawning false. Yeah, whatever. Um, when I put TNT in there, in all those 12 tubes, a total of 600 TNT. Then I wired it all up together. When I did that, I was building a piston door, the, and a, the button was right about... Uh, let me go get a button button was right here. Oh, uh, let me just show you. So, seventh floor. I mean, no, third floor. One, two, three. No, it was seven. Four, five, six, seven. This is what happened. Trying to make a door into this very room. No, th this room. And the button was right here. It's supposed to open this little piston door right here which has a hard time hiding. And, yep, you guessed it. It sent the signal through that block into the TNT, which was right in there. Because as you can see, that's the tube. It sent the signal right to the TNT, which was right in there, causing chain reaction to activate every single of the 600 TNTs. So, please do not put that TNT idea in there. Just because, like, even if you're a big fan of TNT like me, don't do that. That was a very bad mistake. Thank God I memorized this build. But now I've recreated it and I think it looks really, really cool. I'm just gonna look at it for a bit, take my hands off the keyboard and mouse. Yeah. Wait, oh, need to check something. Good actually checking whether or not my s voice is recording. So, I think this is more of a modern building, and I'm probably boring you guys to death doing my gigantic 10 minute lecture on the building, but I literally think I'm gonna end the video here. I don't know, you can do that if you want. What on earth I'm doing? Do that if you want. <laughs> Make it look more detailed. But, um, that's all my advice on the build I'm really going to give you. The rest is up to you. So, furniture, it, anything. I hope this guide was not, like, too complicated. And this is kind of the last episode of the series, episode four. And like I said, I'm probably going to do more builds like this where I show tutorials of it. I build it first. And anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and let me just get to the front entrance. This may be the last step I ever take in this world. And bye.